What's happening, Home Automation Pandas? Peter Von Band here. Just bought this Amazon Echo Dot. This is the latest generation, and this is my current one. I really like it. Uh, actually, I like it better than the Google Home Mini, and that's because, as a little sidebar, I can get this to connect to my Google Calendar, but because my Google Calendar and my Google accounts are through the G Suite, the Google Home Mini isn't compatible with that, so it's kind of like defeats the purpose, which I don't totally get, but this has been pretty nice, and I thought, well, uh, since we had a Black Friday sale on these Echo Dots, well, this one is probably got to be nicer. So I thought we'd just do a little comparison here, mostly physical comparison. I'm assuming that the sound quality is better, maybe the microphone pickup and, and all that is better too, I am hoping. So what we have here is a power brick. It's pretty large. It looks kind of like the old one and wrapped in plastique. Uh, so as you can see here, it's it's actually pretty large, 15 watt, covered in plastic. There's the that, that smiling Amazon logo. Long cord. Uh, what's interesting here is that the power cable is different than this one as far as I can tell. Is it? Maybe not. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, this one was powered by micro USB. This one obviously has its own single prong connector, which is interesting. So there's a difference right there. And then here is the Amazon Echo Dot, which, there we go. Maybe they weren't gonna try to make that too hard on me. And I can just tell you right now, feels bigger. <laughs> feels larger. The way I'm holding them here, they definitely look larger, but if I just put them side by side, you can see bigger in diameter, taller as well it does have like this fabric around the speaker grill again we have power port there and the three and a half millimeter auxiliary uh, output there and then we have kind of this matte black finish on the top here and controls seem to be about the same right a mute uh, mode hang up button volume up and down looks like we have four microphone holes which is which is nice. And then this was the speaker output from before, and now I think that's all the way around here. So this should sound nicer. Now for me, I like using this as a white noise machine, my alarm clock, those types of things. And so I think everything is going to be a little more enhanced on this little bad boy. I will say though, sometimes if you have the TV on, if you're a little farther away and you say, Alexa, you know, sometimes it doesn't pick it up. It's pretty good about it, but uh, not always perfect. And so hopefully this will just be an improvement in all dimensions. Uh, other than the fact that you will have to unplug your charging cable, you know, instead of the micro USB that you're using on your current one, you'll actually have to replace everything here. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to giving it a try. Check it out. This thing was on sale. I don't know if it's still on sale on Amazon, but it was like $24.99. That's a pretty darn good price on it, in my humble opinion. So I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to pick one up. Peter Von Panda, out.